All right, in this video, we're going to look at a couple examples of derivatives of exponential functions. And again, kind of the formula uh, formulas you need to remember. If you have e to some function, if we take the derivative of that, we get e to the function, so it just kind of repeats itself. And then we have to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the exponent. If it's uh, some other, you know, sort of generic number other than e, remember e is just a number, so maybe it's 2, 3, 4, whatever it is. Um, if we have a number to uh, f of x, again, the derivative, it just repeats itself, a to the f of x. We still have to do the chain rule, but uh, then we tack on the natural logarithm of the base a. And you really do the same thing here, just as a remark. Um, you do multiply by the natural logarithm of e, but recall that the natural logarithm of e is just 1, so we don't even write it. So it's, it's there, but people say, oh, well, it's just 1, so let's not, let's not put it there. Let's just uh, write it a little more succinctly. So, all right, um, just a couple examples here. I think we can do both of these examples in this video. So um, we're going to find the derivative, first off, of 4 to the x plus 3e e to the x plus x to the fourth. So now we've just got a couple different formulas here. Uh, you know, and this is kind of a good problem, I think, because it's got a little bit of everything in here. So to do the derivative here, well, here we've got a number to the x, so uh, the derivative of that, it just repeats itself. We would have to do the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the exponent, but the derivative of the exponent's just 1. Um, and then we have to multiply by the natural logarithm of the base, which in this case is 4. So that's the derivative of 4 to the x. We get 4 to the x times ln of 4. Um, so the 3 comes along. The derivative of e to the x, well, it just repeats itself, e to the x. The same thing, when we take the derivative of the exponent, we would just be multiplying by 1. So, um, And then last but not least, we have x to the fourth, and that's just going to use the power rule that we've been using uh, a lot previously. So there the 4 comes out front, we leave the x alone, and then we just take 1 away from the exponent. So our derivative, um, I would probably write it, I guess it doesn't really matter, I always pull the constants out first. So ln of 4 times 4x, 4 to the x, I should say, um, plus 3 times e to the x, plus 4x to the third. That will be our derivative for part a. Now for part b, we have 2e to the cosine x times sine of 5x. So in this case, we... Uh, the chain rule will get used a little bit more. So when we take the derivative, the 2 just comes along. Again, we have e. You can think about all of this as being our f of x. So again, it just repeats. So we get e to the cosine x times sine of 5x. But then what we're going to have to do is take the derivative of this exponent. And to take the derivative of that exponent, we would just have to use the product rule. So let's see, if we take the derivative of cosine x, we'll get negative sine x, and then we can leave the sine of 5x alone. And then we'll stick our plus sign in between there. And then when we take the derivative of sine uh, 5x, well, I guess let's put the cosine x down there first. So we've got cosine x, and then we would have to take the derivative of sine 5x. Well, we'll have to use the chain rule again, so the derivative of sine is just cosine, but we leave the 5x alone, and then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of the inside, if we take the derivative of 5x, we'll just get 5. So I don't see a real good, clean way to um, rewrite this. So um, I don't know. There's really not much to do. So. I would say this is our derivative. Um, maybe do a couple things with the brackets. Since this has a minus sign, we can write the positive stuff first. I would probably write the 5 first. So you could write 5 cosine x times cosine of 5x. And then we could write minus sine x times sine of 5x. And that would be our derivative for part b.